Hi right, guys, welcome to the Best Family Homestead. So, uh, typical homestead fashion, things break all the time. I got my grill here. I'm uh, just cooking some salmon for dinner. Yeah, you can see what happened. But I just left it on too high, but what happened was my burner broke in half. So where I had my salmon teriyaki, one of my favorite meals, my teriyaki baked salmon, where I had the grill set up, it uh, went from just shooting a little bit of gas to catching everything on fire. And this grill is old and spent. Well, no, the grill's still fine. We do a whole lot of grilling out here. Um, and I go through a grill about every three or four years. This one's only about a year old. So we grill almost every single meal when it's warmer. Well, it had been cold. I'm like, I knew this one needed fixed. I'm like, nah, I got, I got a couple days. I got a couple more grills in it. Apparently I didn't. So I'm gonna show you guys how if you have a nice body of a grill, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over and we're gonna replace all our burners obviously not tonight but tomorrow we're going to replace all our burners and we're going to take an old tired uh grill and we're going to make it like new uh because you guys know how i am i'm a little bit cheap there is no way that i'm going to spend money on fixing some or replacing something when i can fix it so let's uh see you guys uh tomorrow we'll get started fixing an old grill and then you'll be able to take care of it. All right, guys. So you saw I burned the crap out of the salmon. And you can see, uh, see this, this old grill is a few years old. It was a hand me grill. And it's still in pretty good shape, just honestly. Um, you know, it's starting to rust a little bit. But I'm going to fix all that. And what happened while we burned the salmon is our burners here decided to completely just self-destruct so i've got all new burners uh yeah you can see so like instead of the flame going down this way just one big flame coming up from the edges and caused all my all my salmon to burn so i'm going to show you guys how you can take an older grill find one at a yard sale or one you have there is no reason to spend, I think this grill was like four or five hundred dollars. I'm not spending four or five hundred dollars on a new grill. I'm gonna take and clean this grill up, do a little painting, and uh, I think I've spent about 80, 90 dollars on new burners, uh, just a fraction of the money, and have one that will work for another four or five years instead of spending the money. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take my pressure washer. Now I never, ever, ever put soap on a grill this will be the only time i do and that's just to get it cleaned up this one time after that i would never put soap but i'm going to use some of this uh this foamy spray here uh after i pressure wash it let it set for a minute pressure wash it again and um just to clean it up and then i will heat it up and i'll show you guys how you re-season a grill uh, like you do a new grill once I, once I get cleaned up to make sure there's no soap or, or aftertaste on it. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's get to work here because I would like to grill tomorrow. So, before we start, I'll take you around and show you a little bit of the before. Here's what it looks like right now. And then we'll come back. And I'll show you guys what it looks like after we get done. So while I'm cleaning it, I'm gonna go ahead and go on time lapse and let you guys see what it looks like, uh, or you know, why I clean it. We're just gonna go ahead and time lapse it and get this thing clean.
All right, guys, so you can see I've got uh, one of the old burners out. And now what I've got here is just some I got from the hardware store. Just some uh, replacement universal burners. They're adjustable length. Um, this is the burner I took from this first element right here. This first burner. And you can see this has got a hole in it that slides up over where the, uh, try and get that here where you can see it. <sighs> right, so if you see right there, there's just a little gap. You might not be able to see it. There's just a little pipe that comes up from where the hoses go. There we go, you can see a little bit better right here. Uh, where, see where my finger is? There's, uh, that's where this slides up over and lets the gas in. So this is gonna be pretty easy job. All I've gotta do is make sure that my new burner slips all the way up over that right there. And then this is going to adjust right in like so. Just like you see these little clips right here. And we're going to be taking the rest of those out. And I'm just going to take the new clip or the old clip cotter pin right there just to keep that burner from moving. And then all I have to do is take one of these little set screws right here that are provided. And I'm going to put this in, go get a screwdriver. And that's going to keep this pipe at the correct length. Like I said, this is a universal burner, so it's made to be adjustable. So as soon as I tighten that down, it's not going to let that move. As soon as I get all four of these replaced, uh, I'll be able to take and finish cleaning up down in here. Uh, I'm not worrying about the electronic igniter. That doesn't really bother me any. I don't mind just lighting it with a match. And then we're going to finish doing some wire brushing. Um, the inside I'm not too worried about. Uh, but we're going to do a little painting on the outside. And get this thing cleaned up and looking back, you know, presentable to be on the porch. Uh, just getting ready for barbecue season. All right, guys, one thing to note on these uh, universal burners is you notice the holes here. There's holes on the inside of this pipe and on this outer part of the pipe. So when you start fitting it, you want to make sure that the holes on the inside line up with the holes on the outside so the gas can come through all the way across. Otherwise, you're only going to have gas coming in on this side. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna adjust this, slide it down over my pipe, and I'm gonna play with my length. There we go. Now I can see all the way through the through the uh, pipe. I know my holes are lined up. That's where the set screw comes in so important. So now when I take it out, you can see that these holes right here are all the way through so you can see to the inside so the gas can get out so one of those things you want to make sure and take care of uh otherwise you're only going to get flame here and you know it's it, you're not going to get any flame to the back side so you're going to have uneven heat on your grill which is not good if you're trying to do a good uh good steak or good barbecue Yeah, so I got all my new burners put in. All my holes are lined up correctly. Uh, I was hoping to get it all finished up tonight, but you can see I'm losing light and uh, don't think I'm gonna get it all finished up tonight, but I do wanna grill tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up a little bit and shut it down for the night. And tomorrow 
we're gonna come out here and finish getting all cleaned up, blown off, uh, dried up, touch up some paint, and uh, test it out. And it should work much, much better than it did with my poor salmon. I really, really wanted to eat that salmon. All right, guys, so I've got my lemonade and my burner's installed, and now we're gonna go through and wire brush some of the rust and clean up uh, and paint the outside, basically polishing a turd, but I've already spent this much time on it. So uh, we're gonna finish it up. And I was at Home Depot uh, today, and I was looking at grills. A grill like this is like $600 now. Like I said, this one was given to me by a family member. Didn't they moved and we're getting a bigger one? I'm like, yeah, I'll take it. Uh, yeah, so I've used it for two years already. Hundred dollars replacing the burners, and uh, so yeah, I'm gonna scrape a little bit and paint it up a little bit so it looks a little bit better. Ten dollar can of spray paint. Eighty dollars in burners. Uh, it beats four, five hundred dollars for a girl any day of the week. cooking with gas yes sir you can see it's uh, burning off a little bit burn off any residual paint or anything like that but uh, yeah I'll put this up against a brand new $600 grill any day of the week and only about $8 three have it that's why I got total but like I said it was given to me <laughs> oh, obviously. 
All right, well, I'm about to turn it off. It is running good and everything's burned off. So just something to show y'all what, what we do around here. Instead of spending $500 on a new grill, it is very easy to rehab an older grill and make it look decent enough and work for a fraction of the cost. So like this video, make sure to like, subscribe and share and we'll see y'all more around the homestead later on.